driving, period. And I got parents yelling, don't let, you know, let my kid go to the bathroom. And, and there's just this weird kind of stress that we have. But no matter what I, I do with Bob Page, <laughs> wherever he is, it's just an easy uh, time. And he, and he does. He just builds everybody up. Um, so um, I will mention a few things that I've been told because I've been hitting everybody up for stories. And I hear that your favorite group of students is Sandy Denham's Mixed Nuts. <laughs> um, I've witnessed what his students create. Um, they make Adirondack chairs, they make tables, they make um, different things for their families, they put their initials on it, they learn to carve. They leave this school with a skill. And uh, they learn how to use their hands in his class, which is a good thing because they're probably going to need that skill. So, um, again, they leave his class with that. Um, the one thing about Bob Hage is he is beloved by everybody. His students, teachers, administration, everybody loves Bob Hage. And I don't think we can all say that, um, but he can. And um, I have a funny story. The first time I ever heard his name, it was about 20 years ago when I started teaching. And one of my students said, Miss Rule, why don't you ever say funny things like Bob Hage? And I said, well, like what? And he goes, well, Mr. Hage says, hey, I enjoyed your mama last night. children to dinner and they texted me and said where do you live <laughs> that's true so um so I, I wondered how is it that everybody loves Bob parents teachers students administrators, everybody loves Bob and I recall one time he gave advice to a teacher and he said dude be vanilla he said blend into the woodwork fly under radar and I wonder if that's like his uh, policy, because it's working for him. But I'll tell you, he is anything but vanilla. <laughs> okay, so I just wrote a little fact sheet on Bob Hage in case there are some things you didn't know. Oh. <laughs> and really, I'm, I'm down to about 30 seconds. Number one, <laughs> Bob is good with wood. <laughs> he can fix anything, make anything, build anything. He's good with his tools. I told you I'm cleaning it up. He has a bachelor's degree in art history, a master's in education. Uh, he refers to his classroom as G Block. <laughs> he recruited and built perhaps the best carpentry program in Hillsborough County. Um, his home is a work of art that he shares with his beautiful wife, Karen. Uh, he loves old cars and restores them. If you have him over for dinner, uh, serve chicken, just chicken. He's a picky eater. Wash your hands really well. Don't serve tomatoes. Don't even say tomato. <laughs> his drink is make, Maker's Mark. And um, his, he says, don't go cheap on your drink. We make good money. Buy good alcohol. Life is short. <laughs> Bob will give you the shirt off of his back. But don't you ever steal his maker's mark. He'll park your car in your living room. <laughs> Perhaps one day he'll share that story. Um, PLC meets pretty lousy company. He wears Tommy Bahama and lucky jeans. Sexy boots. He was once a haberdasher working in a haberdashery. He was a pet groomer, owned his own business. He owns and raises chickens, so he has fresh eggs every day. Uh, he's a pyromaniac. He's the semi-official fire starter three times a year at Church Wells bonfires. And here's some advice. If you're drunk as a skunk, 
Don't allow Bob to talk you into making yourself into a human torch with a backpack strapped to your back. <laughs> that one's for Mr. Patty John. <laughs> Happy hour is more fun with Bob. Plant City High School will never be the same. He's going to start his own business and he will be great. I'm going to leave off the last two. <laughs> Families are here. <laughs> oh, Mr. Bob. Thank you, Kay. I'll get the money to you later. <laughs> uh, where the hell does 36 years go? Uh, I'd like to say thank you, Plant City. Uh, you've let me come here and play every day. Uh, most of you, I'm sad because you picked the wrong major. Uh, <laughs> uh, you should be as lucky as I. Uh, when I went to the county to end all this up, you have a choice between an ink pen and a clock. <laughs> and I'm sure that equals 36 years. <laughs> um, I chose the clock because quite obviously it's time to find another job. Uh, I thank you. Uh, if you need me, please hesitate to call. <laughs> Okay, I can add a story about a coffin on top of a car. <laughs> <laughs>